document wrap up. In the first 15 days of uh, January, I read a total of six works, uh, three novels, uh, two novellas, and one stage play. And I also DNF'd one book. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about my DNF. Uh, Crimson Circle by Edgar Wallace. Uh, it was a mystery written in 1920s. It was a contemporary work uh, for 1920s. Edgar Wallace, the writer, uh, was also the writer of the uh, story that the King Kong is based on. I wanted to check out uh, this mystery work by him uh, when I saw it in LibraVox, which is a free audiobook application. Uh, it could be uh, because it was an audiobook. I could not get into the book. Uh, I found myself uh, wandering away from the story when I was listening to it. And uh, I really uh, could not uh, connect with any of the characters. Uh, and I uh, DNF'd it at the 45% uh, mark because I couldn't care less about uh, what Crimson Circle is. So I, I did not want to waste any of my time. Uh, listening to that book. The first work that I finished uh, was uh, Once Upon a Time in North by Philip Pullman. It's a prequel novella of his dark materials. It has a ba background story of the uh, aeronaut character uh, in, hi in his dark materials series. I, I enjoyed this book very much. I gave it uh, 8 out of 10 and it was the first book that I uh, rated uh, using my new rating system. I have never been a big fan of uh, novellas uh, in series, uh, but this one I enjoyed it very much uh, because the uh, general feeling that I get uh, from the first book was also present in the prequel book as well. It was magical but also uh, very easy to understand and the characters were uh, likable and uh, also very easy to connect. I also like the fact that the main character showed uh, his uh, endearing qualities in this prequel novella as well. The second work that I finished was also a novella. It was called uh, Master Zacharius uh, by Jules, Jules Verne. I also listened to this as an audiobook and I listened to it in Turkish. It tells the story of a clockmaker uh, who, who is arrogant. And really full of himself because he is able to uh, craft uh, very good quality watches uh, and clocks. He thinks himself as the master of time and he compares himself with God. I unfortunately did not like this book very much and I gave it 5 out of 10. Uh, I, think, uh, I think I have a problem with Jules Verne's writing style. Uh, the main plot was a bit interesting, that's why I gave it uh, 5, uh, not 3 uh, out of 10. But I really despised the uh, preachy style of writing that he did. Uh, and, and he also, uh, in some chapters, he also uh, get, got into some non-fiction. Which, I, which is something I really do not enjoy in books as well. Uh, I also DNF'd uh, From Earth to the Moon uh, in 2019 because of that uh, non-fiction passages that, were, uh, that uh, really interrupted the flow of the uh, story. I, I do not think I will read any more books from Jules Verne. Uh, and this is really uh, shocking for me because uh, as a child, I had uh, almost all of his works as a graphic novel form and I really enjoyed those works as graphic novels. Uh, so the problem is with his writing style. Unfortunately, uh, Jules Verne's writing and I do not get along very well. Fortunately, uh, I had better luck with the third book that I finished. I body read uh, The Help with Vanessa uh, at V Reads. And I simply adored this book. Uh, I'm so glad that it, she offered to body read it with me uh, when I commented in one of her videos about uh, her uh, favorite historical fiction works. Uh, this was a reread for her. Uh, the book tells the story of a small town uh, in uh, 1960s. Uh, the, I think the name of the town was called uh, Jackson and it was uh, in the Mississippi state. Um, and it follows uh, the lives of uh, three women. Uh, two of them are uh, maids uh, with very different characteristics. Um, 
And uh, our last character is uh, a young white woman uh, who's an, who wants to be an author and uh, decides to write uh, the lives of uh, the help and their relationships with, with their employers who are also white, uh, rich and privileged women. As I've said before, I adored this book and I gave it 10 out of 10 uh, because everything was uh, perfect uh, for my taste. Uh, it had uh, very relatable characters. I liked all of the main three characters uh, and I identified with them in different uh, aspects of the book. The, the story flowed uh, very easily and it was really easy to understand. It had uh, very emotional moments as well as very funny moments. I really uh, like the uh, general theme of the story. We need to be in communication with each other to understand uh, what uh, the other person feels uh, regardless of uh, race and uh, social relationships. Uh, and I really like the uh, time period descriptions and uh, how the society functions and and how uh, the author described the uh, relationships in the society. And I could clearly picture it uh, in my mind uh, when I was reading it. In summary, I can say that uh, The Help uh, is likely to be uh, an all-time favorite book of mine. I'm really glad uh, that uh, Vanessa uh, offered to bother with this book. The discussion uh, after our body read uh, was also very uh, fulfilling and enriching uh, for me. Thank you, Vanessa, for introducing me to a new favorite book of mine. After the help, I read a Turkish middle grade book, which was written by one of my, my friends in in our book club, uh, Mavi Yıldız uh, by Dilge Güney. This was a middle grade science fiction book uh, and it can be translated as Blue Star. The book tells the story of a girl whose father uh, works in the uh, space industry that is designed to uh, to accommodate uh, the people of Earth in Mars and uh, a falling star uh, called uh, Blue Star uh, is likely to crash the Earth so they have to uh, they have to go to Mars to survive this disaster. Uh, I will try to be as objective as I can about this book. I gave the book uh, 8 out of 10. Uh, enjoyed the book very much. I like the fact that uh, it contained uh, science fiction elements, which I find uh, very interesting uh, in books and especially in the movies. And uh, I enjoyed uh, the uh, general theme of the book, which is uh, try to uh, be socialized instead of uh, being uh, trapped in the technology. I also enjoyed uh, the character development in the book. It actually had many plot twists as well, which is not something very usual in middle grade books. I wish uh, it, it had been translated to English. Many international children would have read it also because I think it's a very good middle grade book. As for the fifth book that I finished, uh, it was also in Turkish. It was a stage play uh, called uh, Sersem Kocanın Kurnaz Karısı. Uh, it's a Turkish modern classic actually. Uh, it was written by Haldun Tener and uh, the title can be translated as uh, cunning, cunning Wife of Silly Husband. Uh, it's a comedy. It tells the story of uh, a company of actors who tries to adapt Molière's uh, play uh, into uh, Turkish. The play has three acts. In one act, they play it uh, as a melodrama. In the second act, they play it as uh, a uh, traditional comedy. And in the third and final act, they play it as a Turkish traditional comedy style. I gave the book a 7 out of 10. It has a very good premise uh, and I and I'm sure I would have liked it uh, much much more if I had seen it on the stage but uh, because of the uh, structure of the play because uh, it contained dialogues from the play that they putting out 
and it also has uh, s uh, lines from the background uh, communication of the actor. It was sometimes hard to follow this uh, on uh, paper. Uh, I'm glad I read it, uh, but because of the structure of the book, uh, I could have uh, liked it much more. Uh, the last book that I finished uh, in the first half of uh, January was Lost Boy by Christina Henry. It is a retelling of Peter Pan, which I have, which I read in November. It tells the origin story of uh, Captain Hook. Uh, in this uh, book, Captain uh, Hook is actually was actually a friend of Peter Pan, uh, a very good friend of Peter Pan, who was called Jamie. Uh, and uh, in the beginning of the book, uh, they are uh, very good friends. And as the book progresses, it tells the story of uh, how Jamie became to be uh, Captain Hook. I actually liked uh, this book much more than Peter Pan original uh, because I had uh, many problems with the character of Peter Pan uh, in the original book. Uh, I found this retelling very relatable uh, because uh, in this book we are seeing all of the uh, events from Jamie's perspective uh, who will then become Captain Hook. Actually, uh, Captain Hook uh, was uh, one of the most interesting uh, characters in the original book for me as well. Therefore, I was really interested in the story uh, and how he became this evil uh, Captain Hook. Uh, and additionally, I liked the uh, writing style very much. It was very easy to follow. And the last half of the book was a page turner for me because uh, I really wanted to know what would happen, even though I knew the ending. Uh, so that's that shows how good uh, her writing was. Uh, and I'm really I want to thank Linda from Worlds of Books for introducing me uh, to Christina Henry because I really liked her writing style and I want to try more books from her. So those were the books that I uh, finished uh, in the first half of uh, January. Uh, so to, I think it was a, a it was a fairly good start to the new year. I enjoyed most of the books that I read and uh, had a, a new favorite book. Uh, please comment down below uh, if you have read any of the books uh, I've mentioned. How did you find them? Uh, also, please like and subscribe as usual. Uh, hope to see you very soon. Bye! <laughs>